So, all right, let's say you got a generic Android TV box and you want to turn it into a Windows 10 PC. This is the desktop launcher for Windows 10 users out of the Google Play Store. You can come over here, uh, hit install. Then after all that's done, you can come over here and click open. So by default, you're going to see a couple of, um, I'm sorry, that was something I was working on before. I hit the home button. That's clear. All right, so, because I had to delete it and come back in here for you guys. I was uh, messing around with it to fig configure it. But, um, all right, so let's say I come over here to the start. You guys, you know, you Windows 10 users are familiar with that. I just want to come over here real quick and show you a couple of things. So, you know, over here you got about Zinks, if I'm pronouncing it right. You can come over here and uh, read about them and uh, find out how to support and donate to the um, to the developers of this um, great application. Um, definitely. So, we want to come over here one more time. Let me just uh, click over here so I can bring the names out so you can see what they are. All right, so you got your Microsoft apps. If you click over here, it'll bring out all the, you know, Microsoft. I don't want to click about it. I keep coming back in now. So all your Microsoft apps will pop up right here. If there are any applications that you don't already have in your system, you can click on your icon, and it will direct you to the Google Play Store where you need to go to get it for free. You can come over here. You can click in here. All your launches will pop up, and you can um, change your launcher. So if you don't like your Windows launcher that you're in right now, you can go back and change it to whatever launcher you had before, the default launcher that it came with. And here's your settings and your power. So um, over here, are your tiles and stuff, which you can set up. Um, you can either set them up before I add a you know life at a glance and fill these up, or you can make a new section and fill up new tiles if you want. But um, there's another thing in here I wanted to show you. This is where you would come for your apps also. Um, there they go. So you can scroll up and down over here, right? And this is for, this is where you would go to. Um, let's say you want to create a shortcut. And you want to put some apps over here on your desktop, or you want to pin them down here to your task, um, your task bar. That's where you would go. So, um, real quick, I just want to show off the rest of the, the, um, the, the I'm not talking about the settings, right? So, if you have a voice command remote, this is really good because you can come over here and you can type in a search, and it will lead you straight to the to the internet to whichever browser you use. If you use a uh, Chrome, or you can set it by default. This is great also because let's say you set it up one way, but or you want, let's say you want to put all your movie stuff over here, but you want another screen that's really gated to a, catered towards computer or you know anything else, other apps that you have in there for your kids, a separate screen or anything of that nature. You can come over here and click and open up a new page, right? So you can actually set a, um I'm sorry, you can come over here, pr press the plus sign, right? And now you have a second desktop, so you can have a blank one to work on or set up. You know what I'm saying? From companies over or whatever. Whatever you want to do, so you can go inside your second desktop, set that up, or you can go back to your first one, right? Which is really cool. So I'm going to go back to the one we were already on. Let me keep going through real quick, show you guys the rest of the setup. So you know you got your files right here, just like on your regular PC, right? Great. Everything works. It's just like a regular PC. All right, so we're going to come down. Got your recent applications. And these are a couple of things that were already pinned to the Google Play Store after that. Like, yeah, um, you know, the play, I mean, they were already pinned to your taskbar, like the Google Play Store, Chrome, YouTube, and your, uh, your what is it, Speed Tester. So you got your contact tab over here. You just keep clicking all these. I'm sorry. Click on that again so you can see. And this is just, I like this section over here because everything I, um, this is why I usually come to set everything up instead of doing it over here and setting up the, uh, the you know, the shortcuts and the taskbar. I can just come over here and customize everything. And let's say this is really good because let's say you want to make the icon size bigger. This is an option I didn't have in a lot of the other ones. Um, I can, let's say my shortcut, right? Oh, my shortcuts, I want to change the icon size on them. So I can come over here and hit extra large, and that will make it bigger, which is a plus because if you're on a you know big screen TV or you know or 32 inch in a big room or something, you're sitting farther back, you want to be able to see those icons in the room or something like that of that nature. So very customizable. That's why I like this. But I, I'm not going to really get too in depth with it. But for right now, I'm going to show you guys um, how I set it up. So let's say I want to put an app to the desktop. 
I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna left click. You need a you need a uh, mouse or maybe keyboard. You're gonna hit the left click mouse button on the far left hand side, or the left click on your mouse. And you're gonna have these options right here: add um, as title, pin the taskbar, create shortcut, um, uninstall app. Well, right now we want to create a shortcut. So when I um, click that, I'm gonna back out. And as you can see, my shortcut's right here. I can take that shortcut and left click it and pull it around anywhere I want, or I can just long click it. Hit this check right here. I can rename it. I can uninstall it. I can delete the shortcut. Right? If I want to get rid of it and just take it off the front screen without uninstalling it, I could just hit delete shortcut. Or let's say I want to put something else on this taskbar right here. I can simply just come over here. Um, and I could also do this from over here. All the same options over here. It's like a shortcut. I could um, come over here. I could long hold it. And I can create, I could say, pin to taskbar, which you will see is down here. Now, another good thing I like about this is that, I don't know if I can do it right now. Let me see. Let me, um, I, 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 you know what? I got the camera set, so I was going to drop this so you don't see this menu anymore and it's just a full screen, but it might mess everything up. When this taskbar is full, you can actually go about two, three rows deep underneath it. It won't show unless you lift it up or you try to go through it and you're clicking through stuff over here. But this taskbar actually goes about all the way across, and you can go about two, three rows underneath. So this is a very, very uh, nice, customizable Windows 10 um, launcher for 2017 for your Android TV boxes. Uh, this one is definitely a go. Let me know what you think. And I'm out.